So we've made a translation with GeoGebra. Now let's make a reflection. Let's go to Chrome. Notice when I open Chrome, GeoGebra is there already. Now it's got a lot of the tools available in the Chrome app. It's just not everything that comes in the software, unfortunately. But we can do most of what we want. Because um, like in the software that, uh, that we download, we can get rid of the axes and not have to look at them. Or we just slide them out of the way. And so we're going to do a reflection. So let's draw a polygon. Again, don't do a regular polygon. Do something that's got some curve, some obtuse angles, some acute angles, a little twist to them. Again, it tells us how big the polygon is. That area tells us each segment, tells us where each point is. We want to do a reflection. We're going to reflect about, come on, about a line, not a point, not a circle. Things you could do, but we tend not to. About a line. So we need a line. So we got to go back here, got to draw a mirror. Now, it could be a line or a segment, doesn't matter. It'll understand that if you draw a segment, that that kind of is on forever kind of thing. So we'll just go segment. And you click on Reflex, you click the object, and click the mirror. And there is our reflection. So if I move a point, notice how its twin also moves. Let us measure the distance from a point to the line. 3.15 and guess how far the twin is from the line equidistant 3.15 now the other thing to remember about reflections besides they are flips and that they need a mirror is they also deal with perpendicular so let us draw a segment between a set of twins and we need a dot in here we need a point there so we can measure that angle so let's get a new point. I don't want a new point. I want an intersection point. Intersect. So I want to intersect these two lines. I want to find the intersection of those two lines. There we go. Point I. Now I want to measure this angle. Here's the perpendicular aspect. Measure this angle. I need to go clockwise. Notice that angle is a 90 degree angle. So in a reflection, the ray, it's a light ray, the segment connecting twins is going to hit the mirror perpendicular. So when you go to do it on paper, you actually draw the perpendicular and then you make them equidistant from the mirror. Oh, what else happens? Oh, so we move the point. Now let's just move the polygon. Grab the inside the polygon and slide it and everything just kind of ooh, we can overlap things if we want make a funky looking I don't know what so it's always perpendicular 270 oh that's just the rest of 90 okay 90 270 is 360 whole circle those things so that is reflection with GeoGebra